What, what happened to the Basiji? Are they still a thing? Or? The Basiji is part of the IRGC. Okay, so the Basiji is like, Yeah, but they're separate, right? I mean, they're no, like no, the... No, no, uh, The Basiji has... Okay, so... Again, so we have the Atish, which was used to be, you know, pre-Islamic pre revolution. Pre-revolution. Pre -revolution, yeah. That's the thing. The IRGC has five, you know, sections, right? You have mm -hmm. the, the Air Force, the Grand Force, um, and the... Um, you know the navy, right. but the two one the two parts that gets the most media attention is the Quds army and the Besiege, right? Besiege. So uh, IRGC, for those who don't know, it actually stands for the Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps, yeah. or something. Right? So yes, it's a, yeah, it's a, they're they're actually connected to the the, the revolution, which was made by Khomeini originally to to as an anti coup measure, but it grew to something so much bigger. It grew to something so big that it owns a lot of Iran's economy, right? They mm. have monopoly over a lot of Iran's economy. So usually they're on the news because of the two last, last ones, either because of the Quds. The Quds army is Iran's kind of like CIA and foreign intervention. And that's why the Quds army gets a lot of attention because it's basically Iran's way of meddling in its neighbors, you know, in Iraq, in, 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 uh, in Lebanon, everywhere, right? Uh, you know, Soleimani is like a natural hero for all the people that like the regime. Uh, and the Basij gets a lot of attention because Basij are the people that basically show up in the streets and they're not wearing any military, uh, you know, clothing. And they just show up and just, just, they just beat the shit out of the protesters or anybody that is acting uh, un-Islamically. So that's mm. why they get a lot of attention as well, right? Secular Jihadists is an increasingly influential podcast with much of its growing audience in Muslim-majority countries advocating for atheists, secularists, and Enlightenment thinkers. We want to reach out to more people. If we reach 500 patrons, we will be able to translate our shows into Arabic, Urdu, Persian, Bengali, Malay, Turkish, and other languages in these countries. Help us get there at patreon.com slash S-J-M-E.